out somewhere. Where's Salt? He went off fishing. Need anything from town? Could you pick up some comics for Rod and me? Comics? <laughs> Returns, which will be in exactly 12 minutes. What about my boy? What have you done with him? He's perfectly safe. Well, how can I be sure of that? Because, Mr. Porterfield, we're professionals. We plan operations of this kind very carefully down to the last detail. Our objective is strictly financial. And your son is merely an investment guarantee that objective. Surely you can understand that. Look, anything could happen to him if you've got him tied up Mr. out there. Mr. Porterfield, a... nothing can happen to him. He's merely a guest aboard my cruiser. I feel certain he's enjoying the experience enormously. Friendship. That's exaggeration. Good morning, Mr. 
Good morning. Uh, I, I wonder if you'd mind moving your plate. Fair play, man, Frank. Never uh, hostile. Oh, of course. Smart businessman. Oh, maybe I'm exaggerating, but the fact is that he's well, got a computer now? for a part. Yes, it's uh, a, a company audit. What if you were back here? You okay, Mr. Portifin? Yes, yes. Your friend came in for no a loan. No to work on Sunday. No. And you knew he couldn't pay the police officers least of all. Yeah, I... I believe in his honesty. I give him the law. Honesty is not the point. What kind of act of friendship is it if you loan a friend some money and he's put up his house for security? He couldn't pay it back. Salty, what have you got in your mouth? Then he'd lose his house. Of course. Raj, hurry! Well, I guess it is a little different when... Salty, where'd you get this? I just poor feel that parents, sometimes I don't believe he loves his son the way I love Tim down deep. Some people have different personalities, Taylor. Some show affection outwardly, publicly. Some are more reserved about it. Porterfield's as reserved as they come. Don't make the mistake of confusing the personalities of the man. You're saying that he loves Rod just as much as I love Tim, only he doesn't show it. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll tell you what. Let's take these comic books over to Rod's house and, and check everything out. We, uh, Good idea. could tie you up. That's not necessary. What's more important is not part of the plan. We need to tie you up. There'd always be the chance someone might find you, and uh, that would give rise to some awkward questions, right? When do I get my boy back? When? I'd say the moment we're absolutely certain you haven't done anything foolish, I'm going to find the right thing. Well, but I believe you. They got me locked up in here. What a pleasure it is to do business with a man of the transparent and honest. You've been very cooperative with the board of children, and I assure you, the boy will be well cared for. Greater risk, Mr. Porterfield. Rod can identify that boat. You think they're gonna let him go just like that? I know you're right. But I just want my boy back. All right, go ahead, call him. You know, that Porterfield's a very interesting right. man. Give me the police, this is an emergency. Different personality. What do you mean? Uh, well, over here. Inspector Chambers here. Gabby. Yes, Mr. Reed. Mormon, friendly. Not to what he is. Have you ever seen him at the bank? Do you have any business? idea of the identity? No, sir. Mr. Porterfield oh, can give you descriptions. Very well. Put him on. He's not at the bank and he's on the job. He's hard and he's cold. Now, Mr. Porterfield, uh, can you describe the boat or give us its position? I see. We'll alert police three immediately. Goodbye. <laughs> 